Hi guys, welcome back to All About the Canon XA40. This is Daniel Rosal here, and today we are going to be looking at the assignable or custom buttons on this fabulous machine, the Canon XA40. So firstly, let's take a look at where they are. Firstly, buttons one and two. These are just to the left of the LCD screen. They are labeled with their default associations, autofocus, manual focus, and pre-record, but you can change them to any of the possibilities. Three and four, a little bit trickier to find. These guys are located to the left of the battery, right? So that's where my finger is. That's three, and then four is just beneath that. And then custom button five is located just to the top right of the SD card slot or to the left of the uh, viewfinder, You can, if you want to look at it that way. So now that we've seen where these five custom buttons are, let's look at how we can assign them. Now, you want to go into the settings cogwheel and then jump across to screen number two. There are two more customizable or assignable buttons that I didn't cover or I won't be covering in this video. That's the custom dial on the front of the uh, camera. And there's also an on-screen custom button you can assign as well. And uh, to set the custom uh, dial, you actually have to jump over one page to tab three within this menu. You can see there I had an option for configuring the custom uh, assignable button as well as the on-screen assignable button. So I'm just going to jump out of that and let's go back to it so that we can look at the menus for configuring these five uh, buttons throughout the camcorder body. And that's on tab two of the settings tab. So we can you can see here we have assignable button one through assignable button five. Each menu is going to be the same. You can have different features on it. Zebra 70%. Zebra 100%, powered IS, white balance, set the white balance, white balance priority, slow and fast motion. So really what you're going to, or you can have nothing as well. You can turn off the custom button. Now it's up to you how you want to assign these. So think about the workflow that makes the most sense to you and the kind of features that you're most often going into the menu to dig through. That's the whole idea is that you won't have to use the menus because you'll just have these buttons available. This is assignable button number two. We can see we're getting the same options. Likewise in button three, same options. Likewise in button four. And finally in button five, we will also have the same options. So you can assign uh, functionalities to none of these buttons or all five of them. Hope that was useful. Uh, it does make using the camera speedy if you're always accessing the same functions. If you want to get more videos about the Canon XA40, do please feel free to subscribe to this channel on YouTube.